it's Ray Hunt. Hey guys, Ray Two Hundred, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda: Phantom Hourglass. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, so I'm gonna be playing this on the channel. I did own a copy of this at one point on on the uh, Wii U. I don't know. I don't really consider that's owning the Wii U. That that's owning a copy because it was free, but. Actually, no, wait, I think it was like $5 on Wii, on the Switch, on the Wii U. But, uh, so this is a sequel to Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. So, yeah, so those of you who like The Wind Waker series will like this game. Or like all three of these games in general, because there's also Spirit Tracks after this, which is the sequel to this game. So anyways, let's get started. I'm just gonna name it Link because that's what I always do. You guys know how I am with my videos now. Yes. Okay. I held stars with the right hand. Yes. All right. Let's start the game. And I will be reading because uh, it's just a, it's a it's just me, and I'm not like recording, and I'm not like streaming or anything with this. Our story begins not so long ago. There was a young girl, swabby to the seas, and head of the pirate band of pirates. Oh, by the way, spoil alert here. This will spoil the story of Wind Waker for you. If you not want spoiled, click off the video or click skip ahead. Tetra and her handsome pirate pirates. <coughs> Decided to explore the vast, unfamiliar seas. One day, at a stop on an island, <coughs> Petra met a young boy dressed in green. After this, after a series of strange events, the two began traveling together. They found an old ruin. And light involved Tetra. At once, she transformed into a beautiful princess. Hurley is traced back to the ancient Rune Kingdom. She was Princess Zelda of the Kingdom of Hyrule. Just then, the huge ominous king appeared. He carried the Princess, Zel princess Zelda away. Evil King sought to sit the sacred power passed down by the Hylian princesses. He schemed to take the power for himself. The boy chased after him, determined to save the princess. The boy crossed seas and climbed mountains. The journey was perilous. He slayed the evil monster and saved the, the and, and used the power to become a true hero. After a long and hard adventuring, he defeated the evil king. And a beautiful princess, the beautiful princess Zelda, was rescued at last. Who also helped with the fight. Later, the two set out with the brave pirates' crew in search of new lands. Yes, they set sail together. A happy pirate ending. All right. Also, uh, just thought I'd warn you guys. Um, I am still kind of new to this game. I've never beaten it. I've only got cleared the first three dungeons. But I will be trying to get as much as I can, such as ship parts and stuff like that. So yeah, we're going to have some side quests still, just not as uh, many. Anyways, so what you think of my amazing paper cutouts? Did you get, uh, did you guess the Tetra was really Princess Zelda? No shit, Sherlock, I actually, I did the adventure myself. Hey Link, are you sleeping, Swabby? 
Link! Link! Oh boy. There's Tetra. Stop messing around down there. You're supposed to be on lookout. Uh, okay. He's just tired. <sighs> so much dear hero you are. Who would have believed you saved me from the evil king? Brother Zelda, we're nearly at the spot at the sea in the sea. I told you this not to call me Zelda. Chit Tetra worked just fine before you know. Ugh. But enough about that. So this is where the ghost ship is said to appear. Stay on lookout for a creepy looking ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about those all those ships that have gone missing? They said I say the ghost ship is behind all of it. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. And it's all because of that scary ghost ship. G ghosts Hey Tetra! They say that these seas are protected, yeah? Something about a spirit called the Ocean King. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really is an evil ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. There's no such thing as ghosts. Ship. I bet it's just some pirates up to no good. I'm supposed to be a bunch of frauds. And remind them that there are rules to being a pirate being pirates. I doubt there really is an Ocean King anyway. And if I sound a little groggy, I just woke up. So, that's why. Hey, look. You're just chilly. You're even. I said we take a detour around this creepy place. <clears throat> We're being so scared. We're here to see the world, not take detours. Ship ahoy! Tetra, I can see a ship. Yeah, a ship up ahead. Oh boy. That can't be good. It's the ghost ship! These waters really are cursed! And you call yourself a pirate. It's just a ship. But it does look like it could be the ghost ship. There might be a load of treasure on board. That's it! I'm getting to the bottom of this. Don't you mean to the top of this? Since you're jumping upward? Uh oh. Well, ain't that just a son of a bitch. All right, then. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh-oh. Link, what are you doing? Well, then. Save me. Link. Save me, Link. Okay. <clears throat> well then. Oh god, it's back. Oh, 
you here awake? You were moving, so I thought you were done for. But it looks like you're okay. You're going to be okay. I'm Ciella. You see, I'm a fairy. Uh, the wings, big ball of light. I'm pretty sure I can guess that. I was flat. I was floating around, uh, around, and found you here. What happened? What? A ghost ship? Your friend was taken by away by a ghost ship? So you were following her, following after her, and you got separate from your own ship, huh? Is that the ghost ship people have been talking about? They say those. They say they say that those who it takes never are, are never seen again. You want to know more about the ghost ship? Grandpa will know all about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. Okay. It's very sweet. You've been. You've got nothing to worry about. Our house is up ahead. Our house is up, th is up there. Off the beach. Come on. Okay. Oh, can you? Wow. That is kind of insulting. Tap the right. Yeah, yeah. This is just the. This is just the. That's just a tutorial. So, also, don't mind the. I don't know why there's random text in the corner there. So. Ah, hello, traveler. So your name is Link. I'm Oceus. I live on this island. So yeah, tell me what all about what happened to you. Also, I hear your friend was taken by the ghost ship. I understand that you want to go find the ghost ship, but you must not. But Grandpa, what are we? What are you saying? Link's friend was carried away. Pure evil fails the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the seas of such a victims to capture, <clears throat> and no one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay far away from that ship, your ship. N no, to seek out that ship is to seek out your doom. That's why we have to do something, Grandpa. Oh, mercy. You're not going to give up, are you? Nope, I'm not. <clears throat> Young people. There is a port to the east of here. A sailor by the name of Lineback should be there. He'll, he'll be willing to tell you more about the ghost ship. <clears throat> yes, I know where he is. And the guy who came to visit, Grandpa? Huh? He asked about the ghost ship. I remember him. So I'll go with Link and show him who he is. Is it? It's okay, right, Grandpa? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. I don't see why you can't go along. I'm sure you can help, Link. Thank you. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's go, Link. Okay. Oh, great! I have a fairy with me now. That's fun. She's always been antsy, that one. Now, Link. Lately, I've heard that I, there have been many monster sight sightings. I gave in to you and told you about Lineback. But you be careful out there. Alright. So now we got most of the story elements over. Let's go. <coughs> so we're going to try to head to the east and... Okay. Hmm. A rumbling? Another earthquake? Many quakes have been happening lately. 
So many plagues have been happening lately. Bad signs for sure, and I bet there, there, there are even worse things to come. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, heavens, that quake broke the bridge again! So many quakes lately, and the bridge breaks every time there's a big one. If there is a second way to get to town, fortunately. Unfortunately, it leads through a frightening cave full of monsters. What to do? Well, wait for the bridge to be fixed, of course. Alright. So, I also have a practice file, so I've already done, like, the first three dungeons. So, wow. I don't know how I end up landing in the water. Oh, yeah. For some reason, Link doesn't know how to swim in this game. Uh, and I don't, and who know, and I don't know why. He was able to swim just fine in Wind Waker, and then after he got sent to this island, he completely forgot everything and lost all of his items. Yes, I know how to tap to people. Anyway, just a bit of bad luck in my garden here. Quake has been, yeah, whatever. Tap the rock to pick it up. So I'm going to try to collect as much rupees as I can, because there is... Thanks, it really, really helped me out there. Not much, but here's something for your trouble. One rupee? Alright. What? What's with the dirty look? You think I'm a cheapskate? Fine, here's a hot tip. Look at your map. There's a spot up there. A tree spot up there, okay. I recommend you go down the... Yeah, okay. It's to scribble your map. Yeah, I know that. Thank you. Alright. So let's go up here now. Mon Link, Monsters Link, look out! It's way too dangerous. You need something to defend yourself with. We have to go back. Well, we could just avoid these guys and... And in case you're wondering... Yeah, there's... There's trees down there, so you can't actually, uh... Wow. Okay, well... Let's not die in the prologue. That would be embarrassing. But yeah, um... There we go. Heal back up. Alright, let's go talk to here. Try the path to the north, did you? See, uh, don't pretend you, I forgo I, you forgot. I never. I told you never to go that way. Have you seen many quakes out of the island lately? And monsters have been seen closer and closer to town. Be cautious, young ones. The cave we go to the north at the head, the, head, the, the, the head up to the north leads to the port, it's true. But that path is crawling, will be crawling with monsters. Do not even think of it. I'm sure someone will get around to repairing the bridge. Well, we can't wait, so let's go ahead and, uh... <clears throat> well, Grandpa wants us to stay out of trouble, but we have to need, we need to find your friend. If only you found a sword. Then you could show those monsters. Alright, so I'm not going to do this puzzle that you're supposed to do here, uh, the legit way. Basically, you there, are, there you just count all the torches on the island. Um, the answer is seven. There's seven torches on the island. So you come up here. Click on this. Yes, I know. Remember, he was sort of back there. Now, let's just, just get this open. I remember he cracks open or writing a number on the sign. The palm trees, yep, so there's seven, so just click on it, and then there you go. I'm not going to waste time going to count the torches, but there are seven of them, so just kind of like follow along if you want to do this. Uh, it may, I'm, there's not, won't be a walkthrough, a full walkthrough, but I can pro, I can get you guys at least to the main parts of the game. Because I know most of it, for the most part, uh, it's only somewhat uh, blind, because you two are pretty, probably do quite a handful. Isn't that my sword? What are you planning on doing with that? Yeah, I'm sorry, but we have to, we just had to. 
We can't abandon his kidnapped friend. We can't wait for the bridge. Yes, I understand, but I can't let you go. Not without showing you how to use that sword. I'll teach you how to use, handle it. <coughs> Meet me in my house, I think. Wow, old man, that's really, uh, weird. Anyway, let's talk to him. So, Link, you have a sword, then. Knowing even the best swords can be bad. If mishandled, that is. So, I must teach you the basics of swordplay. Let me begin, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna not read the rest of this, because he's just telling you that, he's just telling you, uh, he's just, it's just a story. It, it's just, it's just tutorial, so I'm not gonna read it. Alright, that's that. <clears throat> and now we do the spin attack. Basically just draw a circle around yourself. And Link will... Also, if you try Link during the tutorial, he'll be like... He'll be like, you can't, uh... If you, uh, try to leave the tutorial, uh, he won't let you leave. You have, to, you have to finish the tutorial, sadly. So. Oh, there's nothing there, so. I thought I could find some more rupees, but I guess not. Because we need 80 rupees to get the item I want to get, so. That's what we're doing. So now we can kill these guys. I will warn you, I'm not the best at this game, so I might still die from time to time. I kind of suck at this game. So. Oh yeah, and those are Choo Choo's, by the way. They're just like the basically Goomba standard enemy. They die in one hit. But yeah, so we want to get at least 100 rupees. We're going to need at least 100 rupees. So, not 100 rupees. 80 rupees, sorry. I don't know why I said 100. We need at least 80 rupees to get the item I want to get. So, basically, this is a tutorial just letting you know that keys unlock doors. Doors like this need a key to unlock. So... And so for this, the order, there's a specific order you have to pull these in, so it's this, this, I don't even need to look up the tablet because I already know what it is, you just pull that, and then the last one is this one, and there you go, puzzle solved, but if you do, if you are confused and, you're, and, you're, and, you're, and you want to do the puzzle legit way, just come over here, you move this block out of the way, And the stone tablet over here will tell you the order of the levers. So, but I already know the levers. So I already know the order of the levers, so I don't need to. So I don't need to, um. Go do the puzzle legit, so. Yeah, there's two stone tablets. There's one over here, and then there's one over here that will tell you the order of the switches. So, where I'm pointing on the map, yeah, is where it is. But let's go ahead. Okay, first of all, I gotta get rid of these guys because they're gonna get in my way if I don't. I hate rats in this game because they're so annoying. So, I'm getting a lot of rupees here. That's perfect. I do need those. Ow. You fucking. Die. Thank you. You die. Come here. Come here. I know you want to die. Come here. There you go. All 
Alright, so what we need to do for this puzzle, you can do this one of two ways. You can either block his path, or you could just block the hole itself. So let's just block the hole itself. And then we come down here, and it will walk by. Once it walks by, come over here. We'll try going to that hole. And wow, okay, well that's dumb. Yeah, there we go again. So wait for it to move again. Uh, and it's okay, let's try this again. He goes over there, stand right here, and you just hit him. There you go. And that's how you do that puzzle. So. Or the other thing you do is just block his path right here and then do it that way as well. But the easiest way is just block the hole itself and then make sure Link make sure uh, Link's not in the area. So, because as long as Link is in the area, the skull to, the the, uh, the rat will not come out. I'm trying to get more rupees. Well, we're going to have to do a little bit of grinding here. We made it to the port. It's so, it's so, it's so much farther to walk when the bridge is out. Now, now where is he? Now we're here. Let's look up Lineback. I met him once or twice. Can't say I care for him. He's awful. He's awfully. A, he's an awfully big talker for such a big cuckoo. No, uh, yeah, I know where the port is. Thank you. I can see it on the map. You don't need to point it out. Okay, so real quick, you want to come over here to this chicken? Uh, sneak up on it, and then pick it up. And then you want to run over here. As you can see, there's an island you cannot access down here. So, you just jump across here, throw the cuckoo and over there. In this chest, you'll get a random treasure. So we go, ooh, a Rudo crown. Okay, those are usually worth a lot. We'll see what happens with those. You can make boat parts out of um, pieces. Because in this game, you can customize the boat. Uh, unlike... Uh, Wind Waker, where you're just stuck with the King of Red Lions. That's one thing I gotta give this game credit for. So. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Look at this remarkable ship. What do you think of it? Oh, just look at her. What a ship. Such a proud beauty. Time loses all meaning when I gaze up on her. Dude. Why you went to a ship? I don't. I, that's what I'd like to know. Oh, if only she were mine. It belongs to the sea captain, which goes, to, which what goes by the name of Linebeck. A future, a fearless soul. I hear he's seen the whole world and yet never seen defeat. Why well, you're searching for Linebeck? The captain usually drops anchor at the milk bar, but I haven't seen him in days. Perhaps the bar owner knows where Linebeck has vanished to. And you have to do that first because if you don't, then you can't continue the story, so. So this hearing will be important later. Treasure Teller, opening soon. So this thing will be important later. Basically, any of our extra treasure we could sell to this guy. <coughs> And he'll give us a decent amount of money for it. Unless he doesn't like it. And what the, and, uh, what the treasure teller will take is, for a decent amount of rupees, it will be different from your save file. So, like, this Ruto crown I picked up could be only, like, 50 rupees. And then, like, a shitty item that I picked, uh, I picked up could be worth more. So... Also, this game also has time-based things, so every time I start a new episode, once we have the access to do what we're going to do, 
I will be going to stop by a certain place every once in a while. Because it does every new day it has uh it has more it has new stuff. So and that's only for going off the time, but you could also cheat this clock and just like and just like um set your clock to ahead of time, but I'm not gonna do that because yeah. I'm using it as an emulator, of course, because that's, that's the only way I can like, st record this game with my, uh, with my VTuber without a capture card. So. Oh, a new customer. Oh, hearty greetings. Lots of locals drift here uh, to, a while, uh, to a while away at the hours, but a bit empty at the moment. But aren't you a tad short to be here? Uh, okay. Take no offense, sir. I take full offense of that. You'll be more than welcome when you've gone further and a little farther in life. Looking for a linebacker? Sure, I know him, and the chair knew him recently. Lineback just dashed out, saying he was going off to the Temple of the Ocean King. I tried to stop that crazy fellow, but he was he went to the north side of the of our isles. In my ears, hear that right. He went to the Temple of the Ocean King. Listen up, young'un. Listen to... Listen, listen good. The Ocean King is the defender of all creation. And that temple up ahead is in, on the hill is built in his honor. None more worthy. Sadly, a curse was laid on that place. And it's, that sucks the life out of souls to people who enter all. None dare step into that temple of the Ocean King, so put it out of your mind. Can't say where your friend is gone, but I tell you, you stay out of there. Yes, yeah, steer clear. That's what we all do. But the odd visitor now just can't resist. What? Where is it? Right here, on your map. You're not actually going to go there, are you? Um, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to go there, because, yeah. I, um, now yeah, there's something I want to do, so, because, because we have to go there, and, oh boy, meet the, well, when we go inside the temple, I'll show you what it means, what I was saying, so let's go up here, because up here, there is a tree you can roll into, or try to anyway, there we go, and then this tree, we got a great big green rupee. Now, we can actually go ahead and go back to the shop here. Because now we can buy that item that I was t that I was wanting to buy. So down here, come all the way down here to this tent. And in this tent right here, well, we get a really awesome item that will help us out. So let's go ahead and click on that. Let's click on the shopper. Let's go ahead and click on the shield. It's going to be 80 rupees to buy it, so let's go get it. And we got a wooden shield. So now we can defend ourselves. Now, that, that we are a little bit short, but you can also buy this as well. Because, but it's like, 50, oh, it is 50 rupees, okay. Let's buy a red potion. So that will heal us if we need to be healed. So, and you can also buy a treasure, this thing here. This thing here, what is this? Nice choice. Not sure what, but it looks like it looks like a, a color. Five hundred rupees. Yeah, well, we're not gonna we're not gonna get anything else here. So you'll need a hundred rupees for that. But yes. Anyways, <clears throat> now uh, so with that in mind, uh, we will end off this episode here. Next time. We'll venture to the Temple of the Ocean King and go to the first island. I'll probably go ahead and do two videos of this and then upload both of them to my channel. Anyways, if you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe if you don't like my content. I'd be sad, but you know, if you don't like my content, you don't like my content. Anyways, um, also, check out Dungarapa Characters Play. You can just search it up, and it will be like the first thing that pops up because we're getting pretty popular now. Also, starting soon, we will be we'll be have our Zelda channel, uh, Hylian Knights, uh, with my brother 
and Rojo Mage, which you guys know is a streamer. Uh, he plays like Dead by Daylight. He plays uh, Phasmophobia, all that kind of stuff. So check him out too. And don't forget to follow him because uh, he has a follower goal. Um, if he gets 15 followers, he's going to do a map on Phasmophobia solo, candle only. And he's going to do it backwards, and so I'll make sure he does. Anyways, this is Regret 100, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.